Hello, this is Jeff Foster with Web Biz Ideas, the tutorials on using backlink tools to find related websites. Now keep in mind this is part of a much larger tutorial of finding related websites that you can influence uh, for online public relations. But to explain this tutorial, first, what is a backlink analysis tool? Well, for example, Open Site Explorer is such a tool. It allows you to type in a, a website like apple.com and then you do a search and it tells you all the backlinks or the websites that are talking about that company. So here there's 98,000 different websites that link to apple.com in some way, shape, or form. So a tool like this would allow you to type in any website, for example your competitors, and see who is linking to them. So what are you going to use this tool for? Well, exactly that. You start by generating a list of your top competitors and plugging their domain name into this tool and start going through every single domain name, right? For this one, 242 different web pages that link to them or different websites and finding out who links to them and then try to copy them. So it's very simple uh, and you can spend a long time just doing that. But in this tutorial, I want to get, you know, by just the basics. The basics just plugging in your competitors. But I also want to talk about uh, what you're looking for, right? Because there's 240 different different websites. What websites of those are you looking for? Which ones are you not looking for? Uh, and then also how to use this tool in, in advanced ways to find many, 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 if not hundreds, if not thousands of related websites. So, so to get into that first, um, what are we looking for in the results? If it has 242, maybe only 42 of them are what you're looking for. So what are you looking for? Well, here are some examples. For example, if you're a barber, you're looking for large media outlets, websites that have posted an editorial about the company. Open Site Explorer obviously found this website because there's the link, but this is an editorial by a trusted company, right, the New York Times, and it's by uh, a real person. So this is what you're looking for. Let's say you are a real estate agent and you find a website like this. Well, here are, this is some sort of event or organization where there's speakers, and that company, someone from that company is a speaker, and right, the link is right there to their company. So this is fantastic. This is what you're looking for. Let's say you're a chiropractor, and you find a press release that has the word chiropractor in there. That's how OpenSight Explorer found it, because there's the link. This is what you're looking for. Let's say you're a remodeler and you come across a site like this. Here's some sort of chamber of commerce organizational website and there's links here uh, to your competitors clients. This is what you're looking for. And what you're going to want to do is take all that and add it to your PR template. Now keep in mind I have a tutorial on what this is, what you put in here as well, but that's the gist of it. You're finding related websites, you're putting it into your PR template so you can reach out to these people later on if not over and over and over again. Um, and so those are the type of websites you're looking for when you're using a tool like Open Site Explorer. Now, what are you not looking for? That's next. So let's say you're in a competitive industry that's kind of black hat, it's like a locksmith industry. A lot of times, these websites that link to them are not that valuable. So for example, you might find links like this. It says paid link directory. That, that's immediate no-no. Other things that point this out are there's categories, but they, they're just general categories. They don't even relate to each other, right? This looks like just a website that was built to obtain links, right? This is not what we're looking for. We're also not looking for directories like this. Again, large categories, all different domains. Uh, it, it's obviously built just to obtain links. And, and you know, one way to find out if this directory is valuable or not, if you can't tell already, would be to copy perhaps the page title or copy maybe the categories. For example, if you copy this top part and you plug it into Google and that website doesn't come up maybe in the first page or in the top three pages or the top five pages, it usually means Google doesn't find it valuable. And you can get pretty extreme with this. I mean, copy all of that. Plug it in. You know, maybe even put quotes around it. If it's not coming up, Google's probably saying, well, that's not valuable. I understand this is a link directory, and so I'm not going to actually even index or I'm not even going to give them any credit. You can see other directories 
are doing this. So perhaps when you're finding a website like this, instead of just blowing it off, say, hmm, well, maybe let me look for other valuable directories that have that same title, dmoz.org. Maybe I should try that. Uh, there's Amazon here. There's directory.rtt. You know, there's botty.org. Maybe I should try those directories. So those are things that you could look into and then go back to your PR template and then add that to it. So that's just a little tip on how to identify what you're looking for and what you're not looking for. Now, other examples of what we're not looking for can be shown by something that we are looking for. So now I was comparing basically a directory to this directory here. You know, at first it seems like it's just another directory, right? It's got, you know, just companies listed in here. It's got some broken links. Um, but at the same time, this is, if you look at the, the URL, this is nyc.gov. So right away, this looks like a very powerful site. So you, you have to really look and spend at least a few seconds looking at the site to identify if it is. And we can do the same test. Remember, copying something on the page? Let's try to copy, for example, the company name, 195 Dragon Jewelry. And we would go to Google, and we type that in, and perhaps we put NYC, because I'm looking for this company right in New York City. And you notice right away these results come up, and there it is. What is this, fifth down? That's pretty impressive that that, that, that directory is ranking that company plus NYC in the first page there. That must be pretty valuable. So one tip to do this is to copy things on the pages, a page title, a company, a category, plug it into Google, and, and if Google is showing that in the search engines, that's a good sign. If they're not, it's not a good sign. Other websites that we're not looking for. You can just tell that this website is just a content blog that's made to generate content. And then all of a sudden it's on auto cars and you start seeing stuff like replica watches links uh, you know obviously this is just built to, to drive links we are not looking for this again you can always do a tip right you can copy things from the page and put it into to Google to see if it's valuable but at the same time this place doesn't even have any contact us buttons about us buttons they don't want to be contacted right because some SEO company just built this they're not even real people posting it, it just says admin this is not what we're looking for Again, it's the same thing. Not what we're looking for. 500 payday loan, you know, credit card lawsuit, lawyer, right? We're not looking for things like this. Don't even bother. Article directories, article based. There's hundreds of these, right? The Panda update smashed these. We are not looking for things like this. Again, you can always do some test copying page titles, but we are not looking for pages that are just general places to upload articles. It's not working. And again, it doesn't pass our test as well. You, you copied the page title, and it's not even in here. So obviously, Google doesn't find that page valuable. Otherwise, they'd rank it for what it's about. Another way to test if these pages are legit as well is to go back to Open Site Explorer, and then you're going to click on a tab called Compare Link Metrics. And within there, it allows you to type in different domain names. So again, this would be the main website that we originally started with. And then you can start comparing all these other pages. So these first two, right, are those low-valued ones I showed you earlier. Now, what should you look for? Not just this top number, but in particular, this, the Page Moz Rank and the Page Moz Trust. Now, anytime the Moz Trust is higher than the Moz rank, that is a very good sign or that they're very close together. Now, if you look at these junk websites and the Moz trust is very much lower than the Moz rank, that is a very bad sign. Again, this one is lower than that. Even though it's a little closer, it's not a good sign. Now, when you start getting to other stuff, though, for example, like about.com, it's just a normal article. It's talking about top barber shops across the nation. Is this valuable? Hey, the Moz Trust is, is, is much higher than the Moz Rank. That original article, right, about the blind barber shop, if you go back here, the Moz Trust is higher than the Moz Rank. Now, without getting into the details why, that's what you're looking for. You're really looking for, for close together, well, especially if it's higher. This is not the ultimate 
you know, gauge. Sometimes it's not going to be like, the, you know, this will be different. But in general, that's a good rule of thumb to go by. Some other things to look to would be other uh, metrics down here, right? How many different uh, root domains linked to this page? Here's five. There's 40 links total. Right? These other pages, you know, don't always have that. There's only two there's only two websites that link to it, one, one, one. That's not always a good sign. Again, I would say five percent of the time look for stuff down here. But just majority, if you if you're wondering, if you can't figure out, you know, if a page like this is bad, well perhaps maybe plug it into here and see if the Moz Trust is higher or lower than the Moz rank. All right. So next I want to show you uh, how to turn finding one related website into hundreds. So let's just say again that you came across uh, this article and you're like, man, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want, but I've only found one or two of these. I want to find hundreds of these. So how can you turn this into hundreds? Again, following the same test that we did for finding low related sites, we can do for high. We can copy something on the page. Let's just say the category, right? This editorial is in a category called men's fashion. I wonder how many other websites online have a men's fashion category on their website. So you can type it into Google, men's fashion, put quotes around it. Quotes are just another way of saying the search operating term uh, in text. You don't need to put in text, you can just put quotes. And then perhaps put some keywords, right? Men's fashion. Well, I'm in New York City, so I want to put NYC as I, I need that on the page. And then I also want in the title that company's website, The Blind Barber, right? Because the article is about the, the company, The Blind Barber. I want to find other places that that company has some editorial. I want to make sure the company is what I'm looking for is in New York City. And then I'm looking for men's fashion on that, on that, on that page. And you got 19 other different results. So hey, there's 19 different places that you can do. Um, and then you know, hey, you might find places like this uh, that uh, it's like a, a Groupon or a Living Social. It's a deal for the blind barber shop. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can get a link. Hey, here's my address. I'm a local company, and I understand a company name, address, and phone number is pretty important. Uh, so hey, maybe I should check this out. So this is a great way to find uh, hundreds of different listings by just simply copying things on the website and doing searches like that. Uh, going on to some other examples that I showed you earlier, again, copy things when you find this, like keynote speakers. Well, that's nice that I could perhaps be a speaker here, but what other places uh, have speaking events? Put keynote speakers, maybe put the subject that you're looking for, real estate, maybe put 2012 so it's recent, and now, hey, you have a lot of different results of different speaking you know, engagements that you can go to, and perhaps eventually you'll find another place like this. Hey, speaking engagements, it lists the person, it lists you know, perhaps a link to the website. This is fantastic. This is a great way I can find related websites by finding good results using Open Site Explorer and then using search operating terms to find new ones. Another example, we had the remodeler and they found an organization. Again, copy something like this, Minnesota chapter. What other chapters are there in Minnesota? Perhaps maybe to use a search operating term in title, Minnesota chapter. And then you're in the remodeling industry and then you want to minus the site of that, right? Because that's the site that we already found. We don't need to find this again. And so now you have 243 different results that have the word Minnesota chapter, the page title, and you can start looking through these things to find other related websites. And you're going to come across other places. Hey, I can list my remodeling business here. There I can get a link. Hey, there's a big link that says promote my business. This is fantastic. This is exactly what you're looking for. Uh, so that's just a few tips on how you can turn one related website into hundreds of related websites using Open Site Explorer. But going on, the next thing I want to talk about now is finding, um, basically, finding other websites to put into Open Site Explorer. Now, you're going to be using this tutorial, and you're going to watch our other tutorials, and you're going to already have a list of related websites, perhaps ones that you've just created yourself, or perhaps you've used our other tutorials, like search operating terms or directories, and you're, you can just keep plugging things in. As you find 20 new ones every month, you can plug these into Open Site Explorer, and now you can find hundreds of different related websites. But I also want to show you a tip um, to also find 
other related websites uh, using different specific subjects. For example, uh, who links to industry hubs or portals? So you don't always have to put in your company's uh, your, your competitors domain names into here. You can also put other popular websites in here and find other links. For example, uh, industry hubs or portals, right? Directories. So the example that we have here is they're in the remodeling industry and DIY.com is, is a very industrial le leader uh, within that category. Uh, so it would be to type this website in and now you have 2,900 websites that have talked about that company as well. And so what you're going to find are other websites that relate to that as well. And so this is a fantastic way that will keep you busy for a long time to find other related websites uh, within your industry. Another great one would be answering the question of who links to associations and organizations. For example, if you're a chiropractor, the ACA today is one of the leaders of the organization that, you know, in the industry. So type in the ACA today and see who talks about the ACA today to find other related websites. Uh, and, and not only using Open Site Explorer, just a side note, you could also go and use other search operating terms like chiropractic. Just put in like a keyword since you're a chiropractic and then put in the search operating term site colon and then dot org. So now you're looking for only websites that are dot org that come up that talk about chiropractic. And so you may find, right, find the ACA today again, but you find other ones like chiropractic.org. And so what does that allow you to do? It allows you to find them, plug them more into Open Site Explorer, and now you start your process again. I'm looking for related websites. Oh man, there's 6,300 different domain names that link to this, and now I have more information. And so right, once you get done with this site, you can go to also Google to find more like that and continue plugging it in. Just the same with our... Uh, the industry hubs and portals, right? When you're looking for stuff and you find other related websites, well, just keep searching for those too to find even more. This is a never ending process. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is uh, something called Who Links uh, to Solid Directory Resources and Query. So if you would do a search, for example, let's say you're a plumber and you just do a search for plumbing resources. And you come across this first website, it's called Plumbing Resources Online. Obviously, this, this domain name is all about plumbing resources, right? This is what we're looking for. Something that lists, you know, different suppliers, websites, and so forth. Uh, what we want to do is plug that into Open Site Explorer. And now we're going to find out who links to those resources. Because obviously, if they're linking to those resources, they must be related in some way, shape, or form. And so now what we see is, hey, elocal.com keeps linking to that resource. We're going to check out what it is. And hey, elocal, it's about you know home remodeling as well. Maybe I can reach out to this company and influence in them some way. Right? And so that's how you can also you know, use solid directory and resources online. And this is very, very easy uh, to find. Uh, one tip to do this, and one just you know doing plumbing resources, but you could also type in, for example, your keyword plumbing, and then maybe go like this in URL resources. And this how the same one comes up, but now other ones with that word resources right in the URL are going to come up as well. And so this would be another great way to find plumbing resources. You get those links, you plug it in OpenXI Explorer, you find other rela related websites that talk about this that perhaps you could influence, again, in some way, shape, or form. And you keep repeating the process over and over and over again. Another tip of finding websites to plug into OpenSight Explorer. Uh, who basically links to sites that you have profiles on? So for example, let's just use our company as an example. I'm doing a search for web biz ideas. I don't want my website to come up, so I put minus site, right, webbizideas.com. At the same time, I'm looking for anything that has the word webbizideas in the page, but also in the title, the word profile. So, right, you're going to come across profiles that webbizideas has online. And so now you can find these pages, like crunchbase.com, here's the, the company. And not necessarily that this page is important, but Crunchbase is important, right? Crunchbase, hey, well, they have a profile. Maybe I can create a profile. So not only can we add Crunchbase.com to our, you know, our PR template, but we can go back 
to Open Site Explorer and type in crunchbase.com and again find other websites that you know link to that as well. So that's a fantastic way of finding other related websites uh, using and finding profiles. Another great tip using OpenSI Explorer would be finding forums online. So using the same search operating term, again, we're looking for the company WebBiz Ideas. We don't want this website to come up. And then in the URL, we're looking in URL forum. So now we're looking for forums online uh, that WebBiz Ideas is a part of. And so you're going to come across with businesses like this. Hey, small business brief. Again, hey, if I'm in this business, not only do I want to copy this URL and uh, and put it into my PR template, but I want to copy uh, this URL and I want to go back to uh, Open Site Explorer and type it in and now find other websites that relate to that forum. So that's a great way, again, if you know of forums online, how to find other websites that relate to that that you can influence also. All right, and then finally now some advanced tips for using Open Site Explorer. So not only have you found websites and you plugged it in here and you've done everything that I've been talking about in this tutorial, but there's some advanced tips you can do. On the right hand side it says advanced reports. If you click on advanced reports it's going to take you to this page that you see now and there's many different options. So some of the things that I like to do I'm going to show you now. One would be to go down here where it says linking pages that have the following TLDs, right? In other words, you can type in domain name, right? Domain names that you're, you're looking for, .org, right? .gov, maybe, uh, right? Things like this, .edu. So now you're looking for just domain names that have those in there and then you can export those reports. So that's a great way if you found, hey, there's 30,000 you know, domain names, I only want to find the ones that are organizations, governmental websites, educational sites. That can be a fantastic way to find some high quality uh, related websites. Not just any related website, but high quality related websites. Another tip using uh, the advanced search metrics here would be typing in uh, anchor text terms. So right, people link to someone, you know, they could say click here but a lot of times they use keywords. For example, if it was the DIY.com, they, they might use that, that keyword. They might use the do-it-yourself. So if you try to narrow it down to keywords that people have linked to your competitors with and you want the same, you can use these keywords. And now keep in mind you can be very, very creative with what you type in here. So think about what people are searching and linking and, and, and do that. And then my final tip uh, using Open Site Explorer. Um, well, actually, one second. Uh, another quick tip. Uh, you know, I had mentioned you can download uh, all these links in a CSV file. So once you download these files in a CSV file, one great way. This is kind of what it's going to look like in some way, shape, or form. It's going to give you all the links. Uh, and the second column over is called the title or the page title. Now, a great thing to do would be to search for keywords that you want to do. For example, if you're looking for things that relate to back pain, maybe you've created an awesome article or video on back pain, you can search your competitors, uh, basically links or page titles, and it says, hey, where woman grow living, you know, chronic back pain. This page is about back pain. Maybe I can reach out to this specific website because I have an article about back pain. So when you find related websites and you export them and you have certain articles that you want to promote, that's another great way to use Open Site Explorer. And especially if you have a large list of these, um, this may this will be very easy to find, especially if, if all uh, your topics are very general like this. Uh, other things that you could type in here perhaps would be bio, profile, uh, keywords like that, like you're looking for profile page or bio pages. Uh, again, you can get very creative on what you type in there. And then I was saying my final tip uh, is not in the advanced reports, but in the anchor text report. So if you click on the anchor text, what it's going to allow you to do is see who, basically how people link to that. You know, most times it's the, the company's you know URL that they're linking to, right? They're saying go to this domain name, but usually a, a good uh, anchor text will eventually have keywords, right? You know, kitchen do it yourself, do it yourself, kitchen, right? Uh, bathroom furniture, right? Because people are saying, hey, go to this page and you know, look at more bathroom furniture. 
So let's just say you're going down here and you see the word garden furniture. And you say, hmm, I sell garden furniture. That's something I do. And I already found the website DIY.com, but I want to find other websites that relate to garden furniture. So I love going through Open Site Explorer, clicking on the anchor text, see how people are linking to them, and then going to Google and perhaps even go into not just the search results, but the blog results. Maybe go for the past month to narrow down your results. And then type in garden furniture, that was the link. And then perhaps other search operating terms that you learned in our other videos, like write for us. And now you're, you're basically taking the research that you know DIY.com already did, taking advantage of how people are linking to them, and then you're finding other websites that relate to them. And so perhaps you know you might find a website like this that's all about garden furniture. And obviously somewhere on this page it says write for us. And then eventually you would find that page and it does say write for us. So again, it's just a great way to find other related websites using Open Site Explorer. And that's the whole point. That's what we're looking to do. So that is the tutorial on finding uh, related websites using backlink tools and specifically Open Site Explorer. I know I covered a lot here, so you can always go to our website to learn more as well as read our written tutorial as well as ask us questions. Uh, a lot of times I put links to other uh, blogs online that have talked about the same subject because there are hundreds that have talked about Open Site Explorer. Uh, obviously SEO Moz who created they have some awesome videos and tips uh, on that as well. So go to the site, see more, and use Open Site Explorer to find related websites uh, so you can eventually reach out to them, influence them, and, and get links that are quality, and you can rank number one in the search engines.